full day right here in my Jesus chair. I call this my Jesus hour place, my Jesus place. Five o'clock this morning, the Holy Spirit really began to reveal things to me. It was life-changing. I mean, really life-changing. We moved my daily speaking time to 11 o'clock. I call it heaven at 11, 11 a.m. Spend 12 o'clock noon every day, but I'm live on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. My Tammy Faye Baker experience. She's with the Lord now, but what a fun person. Love Tammy Faye. One day I was giving my testimony on PTL and I was sharing with the people what they could expect from the Lord as a harvester. A lot of people were never trained, taught that way. I wasn't at all. I didn't hear about a harvest till I was 21 with 800 of the preachers in the assemblies of God. I made a statement while I was teaching. I was trying to emphasize the seriousness of believing for a harvest. And I made this statement. I said, if what I'm sharing with you is for Mike Murdoch's personal gain, may a curse be upon me and may my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. Well, that's kind of, that's kind of strong, isn't it? <laughs> but I'm in it, still do. And Tammy Faye came rushing up to me because she's made albums she put my songs all over the world, as you know. She's a very spontaneous person, kind of like a sister. And uh, she rushed up to me and says, Michael, she said, it scares me to death when you say those words. If what I'm saying is for Mike Murdoch's personal gain, may a Curse be on my life. May my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. And she said, don't ever say that. I keep waiting for you to drop dead right there in front of me. I said, well, I said, Tammy, the fact is I don't have to say it for it to happen. Ananias and Sapphire dropped dead right in the presence of Peter because of their financial deception. I said, God would fry me in hell if I misrepresented this. And I said the same thing. If I don't share what I believe about the blessing of the Lord, I'll go to hell too. We're not being straight. Tammy Faye, she sung all over the world that song, You Can Make It. I was in France, all over Europe, Germany, and I'd see the, the sticker on the bottom of the car that says, You Can Make It. You can make it on the most painful day of my life. I wrote that song. This trial you go in through, God's going to show you just what to do. There's three things I want to emphasize here. Number one, be straight. Be straight with God. Be straight with people. I had a preacher friend of mine that tried to pull a real estate prank with his neighbor. His neighbor was recording him. He went to jail, went to prison. A man of God I've known all my life. Good man, he's a good man. But he was trying to make an extra dollar bill, you know, kind of maneuvering, navigating his money life. And I want to encourage you tonight, whether it's taxes, Anything where there's deception, try to stay away from it. Don't get involved. Don't let anybody talk to you about it. Don't let them talk you into it. Don't let anybody talk you out of integrity. I was sharing with some of my team today, young, and I was sharing with them the importance of always being straight. Doesn't mean you can't, you have to say everything you feel, everything you see. It doesn't mean you... There's certainly discretion is a valuable quality.
to shut up about things it shouldn't talk about. But when it comes to purity, when it comes to integrity, be straight. Be straight. Father, I'd rather have your admiration than your love. I'd rather you like me than for you to just keep forgiving me. I want to be straight with you. Lord, I love Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a man that he should lie. That's my favorite scripture in the Bible. A lot of people seem to love the sugary part of God. I like the, uh, I love directness. I love openness. When you're not sure about something, say it to someone, says, re-explain that to me. Tell me that one more time. I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. I think the greatest mistake on earth is arrogance in not reaching, not asking questions. You just can't get worse than that. When you refuse to want the truth, you refuse to pursue and reach. Matthew 7, 7, I quote it every morning. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. I have a book. I have a few hundred. I've written hundreds, but this is the book it's called Two Minute Wisdom. I share with you what I learned about Ross Perot and the secret of his wealth when he was running for the presidency. As I mentioned earlier, I, I kept my jet there. I've got a, one of my notes, note 83 says, the sermon that unlocked 1,000 miracles. This is how you get your copy. I think. Book 248, call the book number, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You may not be a reader. Your copy is free. I'll pay the shipping, the whole book, everything. If you want five copies for your love circle, the people that you really care about, you can get them for five copies for $10. If your friends are not worth $2, only you would know that. <laughs> only you would know that your friends are not worth a $2 book. But that's very powerful there. Every day at 11 a.m., I call it heaven at 11. I share my discoveries from 77 years. I was very close to people like Jimmy Swaggart, Jim Baker, Lester Sumrall, Or Roberts, Morris Cirillo, traveled thousands of miles from Brazil, England, all those things. In my opinion, the most important opportunity on the earth is a conversation. There is nothing on the earth more important than a conversation. I love you. I'm in the flow to make a couple of more little videos for you. I hope something triggers inside of you. That was by Tammy Faye Baker. But I told her, I said, Tammy, I'll go to hell anyway, whether I say these words or not. If I'm doing anything to trick somebody, I'll burn for hell forever. And I believe that.